The battle of soft drinks, and there is a new number two in town. News Nation's Ryan Bass joins us with the rise of Dr. Pepper over Pepsi. Leland, I will tell you, as divided as America is, we can all agree on one thing, at least, and that is that Coke is king when it comes to the soda pop game. However, there is a new number two in town, as you mentioned. For the first time ever, Dr. Pepper has now reached silver medal status, gaining on Pepsi to essentially tie them as the second most popular pop in the entire country. They've been gaining momentum in recent years, but finally have reached that spot. Now, I do want to give you some context here. Here is the list of sodas per U.S. market share, according to Beverage Digest data. Coke's still crushing the competition, 19.2% of the soda market in the U.S. Technically, Dr. Pepper has the slight edge at second now at 8.34% to Pepsi's 8.31%. It's virtually a tie, though. Sprite and Diet Coke, both Coca-Cola companies, round out the top five. Now, Dr. Pepper sent us a statement proud of their rise in the ranks, saying, despite being the oldest major soft drink in the U.S., we've continued to have undeniable momentum in the marketplace. The brand's success has been enabled by its ability to provide a one-of-a-kind treat for consumers, supported by its original 23-flavor recipe that has defined its unique, indulgent taste. Now, fun fact, as you saw there, Dr. Pepper's actually older than both Coca-Cola and Pepsi, and now here they are, Leland, thanks to creative and big marketing spends, but also new flavor experiments and targeting younger soft drink supporters as well. They have finally reached that second place on the mantle. Yes, and Diet Dr. Pepper, for those of us who are fans, is sold out everywhere, um, unfortunately, <laughs> as much as I would like to restock the office fridge with it. Um, so there's this sort of appeal to the younger audience um, that normally was going with sports drinks and with healthy drinks, and instead you've got Diet Dr. Pepper and Dr. Pepper that's sponsoring uh, those, you know, the, the halftime shows and scholarships and everything else. That's working on college campuses? It's working in that sense. I mean, they've got a big partnership with college football, which certainly helps them kind of get into that game. They've got this really big fansville advertising they've been going on for years now. But also, don't forget TikTok. I mean, Leland, this is a, a company that's really invested in that platform. And we've seen recent social media trends on TikTok, including the Dr. Dirty, Dr. Pepper Challenge. There was a recipe that was put together and one this month that Dr. Pepper shared on their own account, which was basically combining Dr. Pepper with pickles. Now, I'm not as I, I'm not as bold to try that, but that got two million views on social media, Leland. So it's clear they've reached the younger generation and they've had this momentum for years. And now finally, neck and neck right there with Pepsi. So you got some company Pepsi with Dr. Pepper joining oh. you there in second place. You know, Nick, I'm just glad that at seven o'clock in the morning, you didn't bring any pickles. Um, I'm just going out on a limb here. It's not not really what I'm thinking about as a breakfast food, Dr. Pepper and pickles. But if, if anyone knows where we can get some diet Dr. Pepper, please let us know, especially in the cans. Ryan, thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.